Hey everyone, it's Carmelia Ray here and I'm so excited that I have a special guest with me today, Chris Honor. He just completed his first gallery showing of Song Portrait and we were at, uh, where were, what studios were we at? IDFK Galleries. IDFK yeah. Galleries, it was at 190 McCall Street. I had the pleasure of being able to sneak peek his incredible work and I really wanted to share your story about that and let people know about your vision, how did it come about. To me, I, I love art and to see the art combined with augmented reality, combined with music, combined with the lighting and the, like, it was, a, it was an incredible experience, so can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right, Carmelia. I mean, I wanted to combine music, artwork, digital media, augmented reality, all into one experience, and we think we achieved that with Song Portrait. You did. Uh, what were some of the guests, uh, I guess, uh, feedback? What did they say about it? And, and you, as the artist, did you have an expectation? What were you, what were you thinking? Were you nervous? Were you thinking, I don't know. What, like, what were your thoughts? You know, of course, as an artist, your expectation or your highest expectations is for everybody to be completely wowed by the experience. Mm -hmm. And what I heard the most is, we've never seen anything like this before. And that really uh, hit home to me. I'm like, this is exactly why, why I wanted to do this project. Mm -hmm. to create something that is unique, that is fun, interesting, interactive, and beautiful to look at. So that was the main takeaway from that show, mm -hmm. is I heard people say, I've never seen something like this before. So I walked away that night thinking, yes. I right? Because how often, I mean, we are 2023, like, uh, we've got electric cars, we've done everything on the planet, now we're he entering into metaverse, and there's very, very rarely do you hear people say, I've never seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. Well, the art world is being transformed by things like augmented reality, projection, digital media, you know, and there's a huge, you know, burst of this type of uh, gallery showings. I mean, you've heard of the Van Gogh exhibit, mm -hmm. uh, other exhibits like that, the, you know, the David Bowie exhibit. I mean, artists are, we have all these new tools, yeah. right? And, and the tools change every day and, and grow every day and technology changes. So it's just going to get better. It's just going to get more interesting and more interactive in the future. How many portraits were there? And I know that every portrait has a story. You chose a few Canadian icons and artists. I'd love to hear more about you know what inspired you for those who missed it uh, sorry but you had to be there uh, you can you can watch my stories okay I think we'll post something as well about it and um, I know that Chris is planning another show mm -hmm. I don't know if we're saying the date right now but I'd love to hear a little bit more about the the portraits themselves maybe just a brief along the wall starting from what was to the left well I'm I'm glad you asked that question because mm -hmm. First of all, in regards to the Toronto artists, um, I painted Drake and I painted Cardinal Official. And I wanted to do that because they're both from Toronto and they're, you know, guys like Drake, they're biggest, you know, biggest stars in the world, right? From yeah. Toronto. So if I'm from If you don't Toronto. know Drake, you haven't been born or you're hiding under a rock or something. Yeah, I mean, right? what is it? Uh, 100, uh, what is it? 136 million followers or something yeah, ridiculous like that. Crazy. Don't quote me on that, yeah. but it's ridiculous. Drake I mean, is Drake is T dot. I did did he not coin I thought I feel like he coined four six four seven or T dot. Uh, I feel like he created that. Uh T dot, I think, is uh, Cardinal and Drake. Ah, Drake. Sorry, is the Cardinal. Six. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, the yeah, six. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Drake yeah, yeah, yeah. is a six. Cardinal's T dot. My apologies. Yeah. But yeah, so two incredible artists. Right, and you know, in the past, like, just classical artists are are promoted through artwork, like the classic rock rock artists and things like that. And nobody does urban art, so I wanted to pay homage to these stars yes um, and do you know some beautiful artwork for them so right because the name of your showing is song portrait and I've gotten to know you through our other friend Chris one of my best friends childhood friends Chris introduced me to Chris I got the sneak peek so shout out to my friend Chris um, 
tell me about the uh, oh the song portrait idea like why was it what inspires you about that I don't know I don't think that my audience necessarily knows your background okay well I uh, was in the live event industry for 25 years I was a live video director I've shot 3,000 bands in my career uh, you know been on the road uh, for many years I'm also a musician so I love music what do you play? Uh, what, guitar, what? Okay. piano, you know, kind of, kind of whatever I can get my hands on. But um, yeah, so I'm a musician as well, and I just wanted to bring all of this together into one expression, and so I came up with the idea of song portrait. I love that. Um, you also had a Beatles inspired yeah, one. Huge Beatles fan, so that was one of the first series. I grew up. I, did. I grew up I to the Beatles. Yeah. I love the Beatles, so that was my first project. So I did all four Beatles. Wow! And uh, sort of developed my techniques through that project. So, you know, what I do, uh, my paintings are three dimensional. Yeah. So uh, I remake uh, famous instruments in three dimensions using plaster and different elements, and it's basically you can add sculpting onto the list of of assets it, of the painting. It's sculpting, visual art, um, augmented reality, um, music. You're literally playing with all the senses. The I was saying the only thing missing, you should spray that, you know, scratch and sniff. Yes. And, then, and then Hey, that's a great like, idea. Like literally. That's the only sense that's missing. It's the only sense. I think sense. we're going to do that on the next uh, show. You have to. Yeah. And make sure it's pleasant. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> very but, important, yeah, very yeah. important for it to that, be That's it. The only thing, you know, the spritz of like, imagine you're doing a, like it's rock and roll maybe a little ganja with that or, mm -hmm. or, or some kind of smell it's a great idea popcorn because uh, Bob Marley's exactly know, my, next on my list so, there you yeah. go yeah. there you go um, you, you, you're you inspired by that how does someone um, and by the way I'm literally in love with his work that I've commissioned him to do something special for me uh, to celebrate my career in matchmaking and my love of music and so there's going to be some oh, we're gonna do it. It's oh, going to be great. Gonna I can't be wait. Off I can't the, wait. I can't wait. And we're going to document that whole process. So if you are an art lover and you want something that like is literally one of a kind, innovative. I mean, you are at like when we say cutting edge of stuff like this is literally cutting edge. I, I don't know any, I personally do not know any other artist that is doing this. And so if you want to commit, if somebody wants to work with you, what do they do? And what's the creative process? I'm going to be going through that. So how do you work with someone to bring their vision to life? So my ultimate goal is to get the musicians, the artists to commission me to paint their songs. That's, that's okay. my ultimate goal. Perfect. And uh, there's a whole process through that. You know, like how, how did you write the song? What's it about? Uh, what inspired you to write the song? And I take their inspiration yes. and add my own. Yeah. To create the actual product. So where did you get the idea of augmented reality, though? Where you were, did you see it at an event? Did you hear about it? Did, did something inspire you? Like, how did that happen? Well, it's, augmented reality is just a tool. Like, it, you know, it's what you do with it that matters. So right. when it first came out, I'm, I'm, you know, I thought, wow, this would be great to incorporate this to really complete the concept of song portrait and it really does it really makes it interactive and fun so and song portrait was song portrait before AR or it like did the different pieces come together because you you sculpted you're doing a story because the art itself is a story like the art itself is a story the sculptures is a story you use some recycled material it's not all they, brand new yeah, material use recycled right. material right I, so it's yeah. environmentally friendly come yes. on guys like it's you use recycled material so there's a little bit of old there's the new it's like god that must have been so fun was it fun and was it, it or was, was it frustrating it was it was both <laughs> okay. so there's a you know a three or four year development process wow. to develop the techniques to do it and yes because guys he self-taught, not self-taught, you went to school, you re-educated, you'd never painted a picture before, correct? No, I was a media designer, though. I did, uh, yes, you know, visually, 3D animation fine, and stuff like that. Yes, visually, fine, but did you, did you scribble, did you doodle? Did never. You, 
Never. Never. So I, I mean, I if I did classes. that, yeah. it, there would not be a showing. Okay, you would think a toddler did it. So wow. I took some courses, and you know, I came up with the idea before I knew how to paint. That's so I, awesome. So I developed the three dimensional techniques, the sculpting, on my own, and that was a lot of fun and frustrating. I, you know, there's a few failures along the way. Of course, that's that's how part of the process you'll right? see them on ebay okay? yes. <laughs> uh, but that's part of the process failing obviously yeah. right uh so i developed those techniques um then you know i went to art school and learned how to paint and put it all together and you did this while like true entrepreneurship right or or masochism one one or the other one <laughs> you're working you're painting i is there there is that you know, there is the frustration and then there's the passion part. What's the frustrating part and uh, when are you having the most fun? I'm having the most fun when uh, a job is completed uh, to my satisfaction, like anybody that creates anything. You know, you write a song when it comes out of the, the when it's mastered and you listen to it, you're like, yeah. Um, but the, the least fun, uh, I think, is just was the, the development phase of what I was doing, you know, developing the techniques, you know, f failing a few times yeah. at that. But now that, you know, we've released the brand and everything like that, techniques are down, the whole system is down, the whole structure of how to, how to create them is all streamlined now, so. Great, I get V2, I get version two. Yes. The better version, yes. and you're going to get better and better. So, for the, I really just want to say, if you um, know artists, because I really I wanted to invite you to have this conversation, because I was very, very impressed. I admired your work. I thought it was super interactive. I brought a lot of my friends as well. It was a an incredible venue. So thank you to the venue. I'm you know I, I'd lo I love to help people achieve their goals so if you are a musician if you have access to musicians that want to tell their story through song portrait through uh, ver augmented reality and there's a lot of things that you can do even with that post with um, NFTs and oh, yeah. blockchain and, and, the thing and about crypto yeah. you know like are you is that in the that's works that's in the future yeah that's, okay that's, that's, near that's future near future and the thing about augmented reality is it can be changed, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, if somebody purchases a painting from me, we can change the augmented reality on a regular basis. So we can yeah. upgrade it, change it to whatever the customers th th Because, want. you know, like, instead of changing, the beauty about this is you've got your base, which is the beautiful portrait, but the augmented reality is the experience. And, yeah, it can be seasonal. You can change right. it. Don't like it, you don't have to throw the, the portrait away. So it's really, it's really a work of art. So uh, where can my anybody who's listening here um, contact you, get more information, um, get one of the originals? There's, we, they've sold a couple. There's a couple left. So what, what, where would they get you? Uh, they can uh, go to songportrait.art and check out the website, or they can go to my Instagram, uh, my name, Chris underscore Honor. Um, yeah, you could just uh, connect me through Facebook, uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> Not on Twitter, though. <laughs> uh, we'll fix that. We'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. He'll, he'll get on Twitter. Well, Chris, honor. It was my honor to. It, talk. it was mine. <laughs> I, it was oh, mine. thank you. Yeah. We, and by the way, we are here at. Where are we right now? We are at Vantage Venues. We are at Vantage Venues, um, and we're on a stage right now. And this is like an incredible facility so thank you to Vantage Venues if you guys are in the downtown core and you've got like a special event that you want to do here also hit up Chris um, for that this guy's connected me to so many different people and I just want to pay it forward and he's going to pay it forward well we're going to pay each other forward by doing the next project yes, and sharing my story so yes, we are. Thank, you. thank you thanks guys Bye.